What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm gonna do my best here, I am fucking exhausted. Um, been traveling around a bit for, with work uh, the last couple of days. But, uh, we're back here, um, trying to make this deadline. Um, yeah, the boys, uh, the night ride team get here um, in about three weeks. And um, so they get here in three weeks. The cars need to be wrapped in about 14 days, I think, maybe two weeks, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think that. So, um, and one's still not painted. Oh, two are still not painted, actually. Uh, Marsh is doing a hell of a job. He's just been going hard trying to get as many parts as we can give him. So, we've got the Laurel there. That is next on the chopping block. Um, and, yeah, we've got my one here. But we've got to do heaps of little bits. But... Um, got my rear guards back off him today, uh, Grant went and picked them up, and yeah, we're just going to try and fit them up tonight, so that, um, we can put them on, side skirts on, um, rear bumper, and just kind of try and piece it together what we can. I do have this, um, tail light piece that still needs to go to him, uh, but yeah, whatever. We'll just try and make it happen, holy fuck. And then this needs a subframe swap in the rear because the stagier subframe in here is just too wide and too much of a pain in the ass, really. So we're going to take that out. Um, there's a good one in the Ceph over there, um, gusseted and all that, so it's, that's still good. Um, yeah, we've got so much to do, but it's all right. This needs this is going for a wheel alignment uh, in a couple of days at uh, Russell uh, at RPM. And then it needs a bit of wiring stuff done uh, from Lance at Auto Wire. So, yeah, just gonna get this around to here and uh, yeah, start chipping away at it. So, unfortunately, I just um, unpackaged this um, tail light garnish piece, a fiberglass one from John Atwood, and Main Freight have done a real good job of looking after it and broken it off, so yeah, well, that's not going to work anyway. But yeah, it's not actually going to really work from the way I have, the way we've got this car set up, because um, it doesn't have the studs in it, where the studs normally would go into there, so yeah, I don't know, just my tail light um, brackets. Um, they're just different for this, so it doesn't really work, so oh well, we'll get a factory one on the way um, tomorrow. Thanks, Kenny. All right, so we put it on off camera, um, just because I wasn't sure how long it will take. It's got a little bit of a flex in it, but until we got the tail lights and stuff in it, it's going to be too hard, but we've got it in line with the door, so the door closes and stuff, so that's all good. Maybe just need to heat it up a bit and give it a bit of a massage, but... Realistically, it's going to look fine for what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, now we'll try and do this side the same and see what happens. Oh well, we've kind of got it together enough for um, the sign writing to kind of go on. Uh, it's just like cable tied and tech screwed to where it needs to be. Um, I just need to get him some photos so we can logo do the logo placement and stuff. But yeah, looks pretty cool to be fair. <laughs> um, pretty stealth. Um, yeah, happy with it. It is just, you know, botched together. Well, it botched together a little bit, I guess. Um, but whatever. It's going to be hella used and hella abused. So, yeah. Stoked how it's come out. Just got to, yeah, get it, um, got to get the boot painted. Uh, and then obviously get the wing on and the tail lights and all the back end in. But mainly you just needed to get the, um, you get some pictures for Clint at Red Star Signs so he can, um, sort it out looks fucking horrible from the back um, but once we get the garnish in and, and all of that and get it all nicely lined up should be sweet all right so i'm trying to stay motivated um the 13 is enough whatever uh, what we're gonna do here so at the moment i didn't really realize to be honest um that this car has a stagier subframe in it because this is the subframe that we had in the 13 um and yeah, so it's a two bolt backing plate, uh, two bolt rear, but it's got gusset, it's got the GK Tech gusset kit, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But it's so wide, right? It's super wide for this car. Um, and we, this car doesn't need that. 
um, and it makes the axles, the axles are like really at the last, at their last legs kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is actually drop it out. I'm going to drop the whole subframe out of this car and we'll grab that one out. So I won't do that tonight, but I will get this one out now. So yeah, I'm just trying to stay motivated like, because if I go home now, whatever, then we're going to be further behind, further behind, and it just kind of gets worse. So yeah, fuck. Uh, Really trying, really trying, but yeah, All right. Let's just get into it, fuck it, come on. All right. All right, done the top of those. Those two are gone. So the suspension's just chilling. Now and then I'll get under there quickly and under those four bolts and we should be pretty good. And obviously the drive shaft, <laughs> yeah dog. And the drive shaft's out. Put the bolts back in there because don't wanna lose them. And I've got these other ones actually. Should probably put them back in. Oh, there's only three there, that's a fucking problem. Put those there, I'll grab the other one and we'll um, put them, oh, we'll put them back in the gearbox maybe. All right, so we've just under the brake lines. I made a hell of a mess before I put a tray down, whoopsie. But hopefully this should kinda. Pretty free to me, my bro. Should be right, I think. Oh, look at that. I should do actually. What I should have done. Oh, oh, no. oh brother! <laughs> That's all we get for trying to be clean. Yeah. All right. Now what the plan is is actually we're gonna um, not today, but we'll pull the other subframe out, and then we've got a full Harkon arm kit for it and um, we'll build it outside of the car and then we'll just do reverse of this so hopefully yeah all is good we'll um yeah unbolt this one take the axles out take the diff out and stuff while it's on the ground and um yeah kind of do it outside the car make hope i think it might make it easier and then bolt it back up so yeah oh well, not too bad not too bad And just like that, the front ones are out as well, and these, the fronts will be getting a, um, a fresh set of Harkons in there, so beauty boy. So Guy and Grant are still at work, um, and I'm finished, so I have come down to the lockup to do a few things. So. Um, you probably haven't seen but the Choice Events website now has a online merch shop so those of you that missed out on the RE Union gear um, we actually did a second order um, of everything because it went wild and we really underestimated how popular the designs were going to be so <clears throat> I've managed to upload the last that we have of those so there isn't much um, so get on choiceevents.co.nz and check out the online shop um, this afternoon I'm going to upload what we have less left of the Aussie Assault um, designs. There's literally two t-shirts and a couple of hoodies, so if you missed out on those, get in there quick. Um, I'm also going to upload the new style of glasses to the Choice Files website, so the thechoicefiles.co.nz. Um, a couple of new colours and a couple of new designs. Um, so we have these new white framed glasses with an orange, orange red lens. It's really hard to capture the color to be honest, but they look pretty sick. 
choice vase on the side and then we also got a white frame with purple frame a white frame with purple lens um, which I ordered quite a few of but we've almost sold out of those at Aussie Assault too so I'll just show you these ones it's really hard to get the colour but thechoicefiles.co.nz for the sunnies and some other bits and pieces. We've got some really cool new stuff coming in soon too. We're just waiting on those. Um, and choiceevents.co.nz for any of our event gear. So all the admin work's done now, which is good. Um, so on to the next job, which is to sand this ready for marsh because that needs to get painted pretty soon. We're on a deadline. Whoop. So I haven't been able to find the green tape to mask out the chrome, um, so I'm just going to keep away from all of those bits. Um, but we are looking for a couple of sets of these chrome bits for uh, C33 Laurel, so two sets um, and any of these bits. If anyone's got some lying around, could you send me a message on Instagram, I'd be pretty keen. Thank you. So it's just started raining. So I brought it back inside, but I finished the driver's side, the roof, the boots, um, and also the passenger rear guard. The guys just texted me to tell me where the tape is, so I'll just go around and mask out all of the chrome um, and just try and do a little bit inside, but I just don't want to get sand everywhere. Sand. Dust. I can hate the beach. Why am I talking about sand? <laughs> so we are all about safety here, Marsh. You just uh, Snapchatted me. You guys know I was wearing it. <laughs> Just got to the lockup, it's the next day. Um, guy's still at work, Grant's on his way. Um, I'm about to head to Marshall's to pick up my Sylvia, so I haven't seen it yet, so I'm pretty excited. Um, and we've got some dinner on the go, some curry. So no takeaways tonight, which would be great. <laughs> All right, made it back, um, finished work, and we've got Ra down here as well, and Grant. And what we're gonna do, just moved Zach's car out of the way for now. We've got this, the old Ceph here, which we're gonna take the subframe out of, um, and pull that out. Drew! Bro's on the rattle gun, no worries. Um, and we're just gonna push it back in there. Put the subframe into this one. That subframe I don't want to put in that Ceph because I, it needs. I want it to stay out. It'll be for a rainy day that one. But yeah, shouldn't be too hard to get this out, and we'll be right. Bro, do you know how like not tight these are? You know, with these, and you got to like crack it into it. Yeah. If you flat change it, like you say, stuff on there most of the time it cracks it. Go on then. No, it's loose. No, that one's already loose. But here, because it's too. So what, just you reckon? Full noise? Full noise. Full noise. It's already all booked up. That's going pretty high, isn't it? How high can you get on that? Probably not high enough. Not, not quite, eh? Oh, bro, yeah, a little bit more. Uh, let's hang on out. They cross me with a bolt. Go roll it forward a touch. Oh, I see. Oi. Is it hitting something on the front? Oh, on the front, yeah. Good. Spin it around. Hang on, no, it's hitting. No. Hey. Oh, that was easy, eh? Yeah, bro. Drop it down. Fuck, you reckon? Nah, no, in, in, bro. 
Straight up. Euro. Oh. Okay. You rods. <laughs> That's all good. Solid. Fucking this Chinese bro, honestly. You guys are too white in this. Straight scrum it in. Make sure we didn't leave anything in there. Wanna kick that out, bro? Whoa, 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 whoa. What do I mean? They don't flip up. Yeah, bro. Fucking noisy over there on the smoker spot, yeah? On the concrete, bro. Yep. It's been on the first seat. Alright, so good, bro. We've got no steering in this anyway, so sweet. But, like, we just need a. Yeah! Bro, don't you hit that off season, bro? Yeah, yeah. Beauty boy! Look at that. What are we doing, bro? A box. True! Of camshafts. Suspensions. Um, oh, yeah? Yeah. McFarlane Auto's in them up. Yeah. <laughs> so I just yeah. Mean camshaft, my bro. I built these today for him. Yeah. Everything's imported from all right. overseas. Alright, so what we've done, these are our spare hark on bits for all the cars. All the cars run the same, which makes it a lot easier to have spares. But oh, we now have four cars that need to have hark ons, and we had four sets. So here we are, we're going to use them. Um, yeah, so this set's going to be going in the Ceph, and then we've got a full arm cap to go in the rear of it, and some caster arms to go at the front. So, should be pretty straightforward. Um, I don't know what springs I think these have got. Fives of those. The rears are fives, that'll do. I think it'll be pretty messed up. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. I think I've got right. eight to it now, I've got a bunch on the shelf too, so I just want to see what the fronts are. I think I want a two. Six. Ooh. Not old enough. Yeah. Right. Let's go see what we've got in stock. <laughs> Okay, what we have here. Bro, should we just put, can we just put 12s in the front of it? Yeah, bro, fuck it in. That'll be better, eh? Fuck it. Sweet. Bingo. That one, that subframe, those ones have the gigantic drop knuckles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Whatever. But for a car like this, and that one's got factory knuckles in it, if we break something, I'd rather just have the fact we got heaps of factory runs. I'd just I rather run it. You just answered your question. But, yeah, but the you, top you reckon it's good to run? So the car's low, the right? There. But the problem is this car can't go low because of old mate's guards here. So, so and those are like expensive. Lever. Whereas we can just easily get if that breaks, for God's sake, something happens to it. You just get another one and bolt it straight in. You don't have to like have a pair. Mm. Hey. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah okay. Good, good. Just a so bonus. You. Arms we put in there? Just so, so, all of these arms, people. all of these will come out. Well, yep. I've got every, everything there, and oh, we'll just do the so. whole thing. Yep. Harkon have given us everything that we need to make this fancy. Me. Job done. Let's go. These are the caster arms, they're for the front. And then, camera arms. Beauty. Right, so while the boys are doing the subframe over here, there's two of them on that. I thought I'd do the front, because that's easy, and there's no point me being over there. So I'm just going to pull out these old cast arms, and then what I'm going to do is um, just actually paint these. These uh, haven't been painted yet, so whip them out, and um, and then we can put the new Harkon cast arms in, and then put the front quarter in. And then the front, that should be the front done, so yeah, those boys are going hard on that. I'll do this, and we'll do this. If we ever need to use these, whatever brand these are for spare. Always put a cable tie around this because fuck, when you lose one of these, that sucks. So what we're we doing here, I just took the, um, had these springs in it, they're just 6Ks, and for the front of this, we want to put some 12s in it. So Harkon actually stocked us full of uh, different rates, uh, spring rates. So I just did that, easy, just knock off the 90 mil off the top. Hold it back down. That should be good. Screw the. I'll probably get Russell to have a look at these when he aligns the car and let's see if he'll take tension off the spring or whatever. But there's that one done. That can go in the car now. And then what you do is just kind of screw off the um, the dampener. Screw that. Pull it out. Hold that. And then we should be able to take the top off. And then take this one off. Let me take that out. 
that one in. That one on there. That one on there. And then red will gonna back up. And we're good to go. Right, we'll throw these in the car. Uh, so we're getting somewhere. I have just finished doing the front end. I'll put my torch on. So we've got the hack on quite a bit in there. Um, show you guys what's going on in here. Um, yeah, so that's in there with the 12 kg spring on it. Got the um, caster arm in there and then in the back. Rather than smashing this out, we've got one side in. And now I'm just going to do the other side. I'm not going to put the rotors on yet because I'm going to get some new ones tomorrow. Because the other ones are like rainbow and all um, uh, buckled. So, yeah, unicorn, my bro. Is this your cup of tea, bro? I really will like them. <laughs> it's yours, you fucking cuddle. Hey, yeah, it's all good. That. Cup of tea. Shout out, Steph, Fresh Earl Grey, Beauty. Oh, Russ got a cuppa. Oh, okay, okay. So, what's going on here, pal? Oh, you're a bit of a. Pre, mm, pre aligned well, from the base, you adjustable see. arm. So, we're going to adjust them back to factory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. I bet you they won't get touched either. Yeah, true. Correct position. That's all right. That's all right. So, yeah, we've got one side to go. Beauty. I just neutral them up there, eh? Yeah, yeah. Like and then that's going to be Russell's problem. Yeah, I try and get them as good as I can for Russ. Though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, because, yeah, shot oh, Russ. Something will be wrong. Like, Who the fuck put these in? And it'll be Ra. It was Ra's fault. Um, Oh, bro, I was half asleep. <laughs> I was one can deep. But yeah, Roger, have a cup of tea, mate. All right, everyone's gone home now. Um, it's getting late, and we have to go drop my 13 off at Russell's, and then he is taking our trailer out to Auckland. So we'll leave the car there, and he is going to align the car tomorrow morning, I believe. And then we can just pick it up whenever we're ready after work tomorrow or something. Or I might meet him down there. I, I really don't know. We're just going to have to make it work. Um, but yeah, stoked. Thanks heaps to Ra and Kenny for their help tonight doing the subframe swap. We got that all sorted. Everything is up and in there um, that we needed for now. And then Kenny has sorted the diff, but um, we'll just let that dry before we bolt it in. Um, but everything should be pretty good. And we've got to find some bolt nah, nuts for it. But yeah, we're good. We uh, get in there. So yeah, we're going to stay with uh, the 5x1 diff in this uh, because we have some axles and we have spare axles and then if that else fails we have a whole bunch of three by two so we're going to sort that got these painted good enough and um yeah and then obviously uh steph got a car back from marsh this is the color it's going black and um it looks fucking mean like right um sorry marsh has done such an amazing job with it it's dusty at the moment um because we had to drive it around from around the road but yeah i can't wait to get it Put it all together, um, all the panels are over here. Gotta give it a bit of a clean, it's a bit dirty. But um, yeah, really stoked and can't wait to see it all go together. Fuck yeah. We've got cars, we have so much going on, but we are getting there. So yeah, um, please again, if you guys wanna come to Drift Wars, which we've got Sam from Night Ride um, and Boogie from Night Ride, they are gonna be driving uh, our cars and we've got Mike Lake as well coming to drive and yeah a whole bunch going on we're doing our best to get everything sorted for it um, and just kind of day jobs and then trying to work on the cars and get everything done is, is a bit hard but we're getting there and yeah super stoked to have everyone coming and give us a hand everyone that's kind of putting in work and making making it all happen for us so yeah shout out to everyone that's had anything to do with whatever we're doing so yeah Please make sure you guys do head to our um, website and get some merch uh, before the events and stuff. Um, or you guys can catch them at the event and buy it on site, which is always good. But, yeah, the shop's a bit of a mess, but it is what it is. And we're moving forward. So, yeah, thanks heaps for watching, guys. Um, yeah, shout out to Steph for kind of carrying this video on as well in the middle middle there getting her things done while I'm at work um, yeah just kind of keeps everything together and keeps everyone up to date with uh, where we're at so yeah alright guys thanks for watching we'll see you guys all in the next one